Hello guys, how are you doing? Crypto Marco here, and in today's video, we'll talk about some interesting news about Verge, about the current situation of Verge, um, an Ethereum update that is supposed to come to the second largest blockchain right after Bitcoin, and some other interesting news from the cryptocurrency world. So let's dig into it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and a like because among everybody who does so i am giving away small amount of litecoin in each and every week so good luck for the raffle and let's get into it so so guys before we get into today's video i just wanted to give you a little update on giftcoin as you know i'm not advertising on my channel i'm not putting annoying my viewers with youtube ads I am giving away a lot of light coins and I'm also putting in a lot of time into my channel and in order to refinance it, at least a little bit of it, I'm doing a paid review with very serious project that looks promising from time to time and Giftcoin is one of those cases and I just wanted to give you an update on where Giftcoin stands right now. So as you can see, Private sale has been sold out, 60% bonus sold out, 40%, 30%, 20%. Congratulations to Giftcoin for that. Huge respect for them on selling out. Um, it has been a tough market for them and still they have been pushing through it. Um, it was really not like one of those ICOs that was sold out within the matter of minutes, but it was really day-to-day -day work. And uh, Stefan Stefanov, the advisor, is really day after day in Telegram answering everybody's question within the matter of minutes most of the time. So if you invest in uh, Giftcoin, you will get invited into the German or the English investors talk. Depends on what language you want to talk. As you can see, ICO Bench, Wiser ICO, Track ICO and ICO Holder, Holder give them great marks. Furthermore, it's an existing business. So 20,000 active customers. What is Giftcoin? Basically, it's, um, where is it? It's Vitalbet. So as you can see, Vitalbet is in already existing betting um, business. One of the biggest betting business, I think like rank 150 on Alexa rank, which is really, really good. But as you can see, it looks really old and they want to redo um, the platform. Plus they want to purchase new licenses for other countries. That's costly, so that's why they need the money off the SEO. They want to invest the money off the SEO into Giftcoin, and they're being being really transparent with it. So as you can see um, right now, the end of the ICO is on May 16th. Currently, you're getting still a 15% bonus. So if you buy, for example, 10,000 Giftcoin, you'll get 15% on top. Furthermore, if you scroll down here, you see that most of the um, tokens are being sold at the ICO, which is really important to me. I don't want no whale investors getting in here. I don't want, I want it to be really decentralized. And as you can see, most of the money is being used for advertisement and marketing to expand the business. You can use your benefit here to calculate it, but it's a really loose number. So currently they have 20,000 users and the minimum which what they're calculating with is 900,000. So be cautious about that. Other than that, you can see that the Giftcoin team is super, super, super transparent. The guys are all here with their jerseys on. So that's really amazing in my opinion to see that. And if you want to check out more about Giftcoin, all you need to do is click the link in the description. So now let's kick it off with the video. As you can see today, the crypto market is better off than yesterday. Basically, Bitcoin is still not moving a lot today. So I think that it's not really very interesting to look at Bitcoin from a technical analysis point of view. Um, many of you guys are looking into altcoins anyway. So today we're not going to take a closer look at Bitcoin. But as you know, yesterday, Bitcoin private was the winner in the 24 hour frame. And today is even though it's only 3.78% today's loser. And it's really something that you can always check for. Oftentimes you'll see that coins that have been pumped really fast are gonna get dumped at the next day. And those are some great opportunities to short your altcoins, Bitcoin, 
whatever in order to make just a quick uh, profit so you have to be very careful with that because with shorting you can get yourself your hands really burnt so be really look thoroughly into shorting before you do it um but of course if you want to trade cryptocurrencies you always need to know where to have an edge over other cryptocurrency traders um something that i've been doing in the past in the last few months was see what's going on with bitcoin and then when bitcoin the price of bitcoin was changing um you had a lagged reaction with other altcoins so you had this little time frame of a you know advantage over the competition which is really great so two little tips for you if you want to trade cryptocurrencies now what has happened with verge and spotify so spotify has this platform spotify community where users can pitch ideas for spotify and somebody from the verge community actually made a suggestion for spotify to work with verge and in the matter of a few days it became one of the hottest uh, ideas on the platform and it has like 126 pages of ideas and each page is 10 pages so over 1000 ideas and right now i'm under the hot ideas verge is number one so let's get into it we are extremely excited to announce that we have recently partnered with MindGeek. blah 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 with all that being said establishing this partnership will inevitably ensure a massive increase in demand for a direct way for consumers to be able to purchase verge direct with credit cards debit and bank accounts Below, you'll find a list of helpful resources. I do hope you find the suggestion to be important and note that we are scoring the internet to find any, any and all available resources at our disposal to ensure that customers will be able to take advantage of our new found partnership and the benefits it entails. This is a monumental accomplishment for cryptocurrency in general and chance, chance to expose hundreds of millions of new users to cryptocurrency there is no time like the present to jump on this huge business opportunity thank you for your time and consider region verge so guys as you know around here like one month ago um the build up was already starting really hard many people were hyping up verge talking about it and as you can see this is then when the news got released actually a few minutes before the official announcement was made um, the partnership with Pornhub, aka MindGeek, what has already been leaked and the market reacted. The market was not really happy with that. And um, I also made a video on it. I was really bearish on that whole thing. I was like, I don't know about Verge. Like, guys, I was expecting so much more than that. Um, and basically, a weird thing that Verge did was they were actually tweeting only about Pornhub while the partnership was actually have been while well, the partnership was actually with mind geek so mind geek has multiple porn sites or as they call it adult adult entertainment sites and um you know it's a different thing to just partner up with pornhub or a different or if you partner up with mind geek like why didn't they partner up why didn't they announce over mind geek from the beginning anyway Many people who are bulls on Verge claim that right now um, whales are buying the dip of Verge, investing into Verge, and that in a few months Verge will go to the moon. Um, if that will happen, we're, we can't be, only time will tell, certainly. But um, if you watch this video in a month and Verge has gone to the moon, then remember me as one of the guys who said that I don't think that, uh, I, I was not thinking that this partnership was good for Verge but who knows maybe it will create a great use case maybe people will start paying for their private web webcam shows using verge and it'll be a great use case for cryptocurrencies so we'll see in the future what happens next up we have vitalik buterin the ethereum founder tweeting and teasing about sharding and as you can see people go bananas when vitalik buterin is talking about technical advancements in ethereum because unlike um, bitcoin where layer two solutions such as light light uh, lightning network are coming along really fast um, there is no currently no real um scaling solution for ethereum so it's a lot uh, slower um when it comes to that and uh, this might change with sharding so basically if you want to get more into it you can check out the reddit post of vitalik buterin um it's really written technical so you you almost have to be a native speaker in my opinion in order to understand whatever he's writing here basically what sharding does is uh, sharding 
A database shard is a horizontal partition of data in a database or search engine. Each individual partition is referred to as a shard or database shard. So basically, for example, instead of having everything run to the blockchain, we can have a known shard for a cryptocurrency exchange and another shard for crypto kitties so they don't interfere with each other. And this is supposed to help um, the scalability of Ethereum because currently right now, Ethereum one runs at like 12 or 13 transactions per second. And if you want to be a worldwide operating, you know, cryptocurrency blockchain, that is of course far too slow. So sharding, it's not really done yet. Um, it's very complicated and delicate to implement a technical advancement on an already working blockchain. So that's something that we should be aware of that could take a while. If one day Lightning Network and sharding get implemented into the blockchain Ethereum and Bitcoin, we can be sure that prices will go crazy. Next up, we have US regulators examining whether Ethereum is a security and um, this is, of course, something that's really annoying to me because for, in the first time, well, for the first time in human history, we have like this amazingly easy opportunity to invest in something and make like 10x, 20x um, profits f f with, for example, um, cryptocurrencies or ICOs. And now all of a sudden, many countries, many governments, banks are coming out and taking legal action against um People are investing into this, not not really suing them. But for example, some ICOs, you can only invest if you are already rich, if you have like a capital of 1.5 million. And uh, governments are also banning cryptocurrencies uh, and uh, ICOs in certain countries. And I had on my German channel somebody telling me that his bank actually actually called him and said that they were going to ban his account if he would keep up keep on um, paying, uh, you know, investing into cryptocurrency, which is like totally bananas to me uh, to hear something like that. But it's unfortunately the sad truth. And this also aligns with the story here. So this guy, um, he has a, an account with his wife together where every month they pay $50 for his daughter's college fund to kickstart it off. And then they got a survey, does the business engage in virtual digital cryptocurrency activity. Unknowingly, he was honest and ticked yes because he does invest privately into cryptocurrencies and then they wanted to quit uh, to close their account and their three-year-old daughter account. Like, what the fuck? Uh, my three-year-old daughter has a risk profile which does not align with the risk tolerance of Bank of America. In that case, I'm amazed that Bank of America has any clients at all. And then he says something really smart. The crypto space is expanding faster than any other segment of the financial sector. Beware, one day you will need it more than it needs you and you will regret such an unnuanced behavior. In the meantime, the management company, my wife, daughter and I have all opened two new sets of accounts with different banks just in case. Guys, has this happened to you? Did your bank call you and uh, said like stop investing into cryptocurrencies? I would be really curious. Luckily, this still has not happened to me. But I think since I run a crypto channel, I'm already in the crosshair of the government and the NSA, probably. Next up, we have many politicians claim and many experts claim that Bitcoin is being used for terrorist funding, money laundering and so on. And a nice um, the Hong Kong government actually issued a report where it is being said that um, the HKPF monitoring indicates that no apparent sign of organized crime or money laundering terrorist financing concerning trading of virtual currencies. Let's look into it. So although there is inherent money laundering terrorist funding vulnerability related to virtual currencies, there does not seem to be any visible impact affecting the overall risk in Hong Kong so far. The risk of VCs is assessed as medium to low. The multi agency task force wrote in the report the current legal and regu regulatory provision relating to money laundering, terrorist funding, fraud and other crimes are wide enough to catch offense offenses involving the use of any general property, including virtual currencies. The report is the latest data point in a growing body of research that suggests Bitcoin's associations with criminal activity have been far overblown at the rate of illicit transactions is decreasing over time as cryptocurrencies become more common in mainstream financial markets. Recently, the Office of Quebec government chief scientists published a fact check 
on cryptocurrencies in which they found that Bitcoin is used in very few crimes. Indeed, the US dollar remains the currency that is most widely used among criminal networks. However, many people continue to propagate the myth that Bitcoin is in the world's words of BlackRock CEO Larry an index of money laundering. Last week, former CEO Bill Harris penned an incendiary op in which he alleged that, among other things, Bitcoin is used almost exclusively by criminals. As evidence, Harris cited dark web marketplace Silk Road and Bitcoin ransomware. The former, of course, was shut down in two, two, 2013, the, uh, while the latter has had far less economical impact than the media attention surrounding it suggests. So you can check that out in this PDF if you want to know more. Really recommend you looking into it. And it's just really silly that governments and politicians all over the world are claiming that cryptocurrencies are responsible for terrorist financing and money laundering. It's just an excuse that they use to um, go against cryptocurrencies. Next up, we have Vertcoin, which has been assaulted. Vertcoin has been attacked by hackers and their Twitter account has been hacked. Hey, everyone, Vertcoin and staff are pleased to announce that we're doing a 10 Bitcoin giveaway to our followers to celebrate Vertcoin success. Send 0.005 Bitcoin to this address when it will be announced. And um, I have looked up the address and luckily not too many people have fallen for that scam as you can see but it's just you know it's my obligation as a crypto youtuber to warn you guys if this if you see read something like this the account has been probably hacked this time the problem was that it wasn't a false account it wasn't actually the legitimate account of vertcoin which has been hacked and of course some people may have fallen into it but just use your common sense and don't fall for stuff like that Furthermore, we have a little update. So I was talking about Alibaba, Alibaba coin getting sued by Alibaba because they said that, you know, Alibaba coin is using Alibaba's material uh, for their marketing. It came out that um, they're actually innocent. As you can see, the judge ruled in the favor of Alibaba coin. And I just wanted to give you a little update on that, guys. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below with your Litecoin address because among everybody who's commenting, I'm giving away a small amount of a small amount of Litecoin once a week. Good luck and keep in mind that everything in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. And see you next time. Bye bye.